Welcome back everybody. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be doing a video about Neo. Before I start the video guys, please make sure to leave a like on the video below. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Join the family guys. Let's go on our investor journey together. So over the past couple of days, we've had some amazing NEO stock news, right? So if you guys don't know what NEO actually does, NEO is an EV company based out of China, really gaining a lot of traction in the year of 2020. Um, taking a look here, I mean, this stock was basically trading at $3.81, being able to climb up 1,142%. Even looking at the three-month chart, it is up 139%. I've said this time and time again that I do think NEO is the biggest growth stock of 2020. And I do think people should be picking up NEO stock at $50, $52.04. Obviously, everything I say in my videos is not financial advice. It's just my personal opinion. But NEO does have a lot of stuff going for it. We did get a recent look at their December deliveries. And as expected, they did absolutely amazing. They ended up selling over 7,000 vehicles in the month of December. So it's crazy to see how far NEO's actually come as a company, even from month to month comparisons. In November, they only ended up selling around 5,000 vehicles. So we can definitely see the traction of growth with NEO. A lot of people are really starting to notice NEO stock, and a lot of people are starting to really notice NEO as a company. Now, there are another few key factors on why I think NEO is a good investment right now, and why I do think NEO stock is going to be hitting $100 in the year of 2021. On top of them hitting consistent delivery estimates, we also did get a few analyst upgrades in the year of 2020, and then we also just did get another recent one as well. We did get big analyst upgrades from Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan, but we also got another analyst upgrade from CIIC, which is absolutely amazing. It, it, it goes to show, you know, these big time analysts, people who have been doing this for a very long time are upgrading these stocks. It goes to show, you know, that these stocks probably do have a lot to offer. And a lot of people just love NEO, big time investors, hedge funds, even retail investors love NEO stock, super, super bullish on the overall Chinese game. On top of all that, we do see, you know, that the Chinese EV game is really starting to mature, expecting, you know, 20% of all car sales to be electric cars by 2025 and expecting that number to jump up all the way up to 50% by the year of 2035. So we can see the consistent growth definitely in the year of 2020, you know, EV companies really did shine. You know, a lot of people did start to see the value. We also did get a lot of IPOs as well just because people know how big the market's actually going to be and really battery power is going to be carrying us into the next decade but on top of all that neo in itself on top of hitting good delivery estimates and those upgrades we do have the long awaited neo day coming up in just a couple of days on january 9th i'm super super excited and on neo day they're going to be showing us one of the new sedans it's the et7 sedan and if you guys didn't know neo ended up dropping a new vehicle line just to combat tesla's expansion into china which is absolutely amazing. So Neo's going to be dropping two new sedans, an SUV and a minivan. We do get to look at the ET7 sedan on Neo Day coming up January 9th, which is absolutely amazing. I, I'm super excited to actually see the schematics of the vehicle, what the vehicle actually looks like in real life. So very, very excited for that. And then also earlier in 2020, Neo announced that they were going to be doing a bigger and better battery, which it was a 100 kilowatt battery. But on Neo Day, they say they're going to show us a 150 kilowatt battery which is absolutely awesome. That's a huge catalyst in itself just because due to the simple fact that, you know, part of the EV game is being able to produce a battery that can last a long time without having to charge it. But on top of all this, you know, those facts are great, but it's really taking a look at what Neo is actually trying to do to expand its outreach. Neo just signing a contract with a company, putting up 100 battery swap stations all around China, not only lowering the cost to consumers for owning neo vehicles but it makes it a lot more convenient you know neo really taking that step into trying to really just expand itself neo in the year of 2020 did a public stock offering of uh, 68 million shares you know priced at 39 dollars being able to raise 2.5 billion dollars in capital with plans to kind of start expanding more really ramp up production on its vehicles and neo does have plans to expand into you know europe by basically the middle of this year 2021 and, you know, Neo really making a step into expanding itself outside of China is really absolutely awesome. And, you know, Neo currently ranking the top EV Chinese company uh, in front of Li Auto and Xpeng as far as share price and as far as actual sales go. You know, so Neo is really making a name for itself. Neo trying really, really hard to make sure that it stays the top EV company in China. But we also did get other news as well that Neo is dropping a used car business. So to combat Tesla's expansion into China, Neo thought it would be a very good idea to start rolling out a used car business, 
in my opinion, I think that's actually very innovative, and I think it's actually a very smart idea that Neo's taking as much precaution as possible to combat Tesla's expansion into China, really showing that you know that Neo is not here to play around, that Neo does want to be the top representative and wants to be the top EV company of China as well. But Neo taking a lot more further steps, really using technology to its advantage and really trying to be innovative as possible. Another big key fact of why I think Neo is going to go to $100 is just due to the simple fact that Neo is also working on a self-autonomous driving system or better known as a self-driving chip, really trying to perfect the autopilot system. A lot of EV companies are really racing to really be the first company to offer a sound self-autonomous driving system. Neo continuously working on that as well but neo being like i said the innovative company that it is and another huge catalyst in itself is neo just doesn't want it for its own vehicles but it's trying to roll out a whole service a robo taxi delivery service all based off this self-driving chip basically where these cars can go pick up customers and drop them off with actually nobody in the car itself now taking a look at the pieces of all evidence you know even taking a look at their earnings at december company expecting $960 million in revenue by the next quarter and really just showing us, you know, that Neo is here to stay, that Neo is growing. And I'm only expecting a lot more growth from Neo stock. I don't think Neo's actually done growing yet. Backed by all these news and the huge analyst upgrades and basically Neo's vision as a company in itself, I can tell everyone right now that Neo is not done growing and it still has a long way to go as far as its share price and really climbing itself. You know, company basically came from nothing in 2020, trading around $4 a share, now currently evaluated bigger than General Motors. It just goes to show, you know, that Neo is trying its very hardest to expand as fast as possible, really trying to be a top representative of the EV game. And with the rising demand and the overall market maturity of EV companies and the, you know, basic just want of EV vehicles, it's only going to be driving Neo stock upward. A lot of the world is really trying to you know, basically turning to battery power to see where it can actually go, carry us into the next decade. We have seen a lot of the companies that did IPO this year, really just taking battery power and trying to put it into different business avenues and different mindsets. You have Workhorse who's doing delivery vans, Tesla also trying to roll into battery power semi trucks. And it's just crazy to see how much people are really trying to utilize the power of battery and really trying to show its expansion all across the world. Buy Neo stock guys, $51.33. This stock probably is going to hit $100 this year so get in why it's still cheap yes i know that the stock isn't relatively super super cheap but i do think that neo stock still has a huge potential upside from here with that being said guys thank you so much for clicking on today's video please make sure to leave a comment and like on the video below as well guys if you guys own neo stock please make sure you leave down in the comment section below how many shares you guys own and what's your average price i'm always very curious to know everyone's positions so feel free to leave it in there with that being said guys thank you have a great day